I would do hardcore, but I want to be able to fuck around and die and not be punished for it. So we're we're not gonna do hardcore. Gamer kids next door code name. Don't even just putting shit together. This this doesn't get anything, but this is a common that got complete dog shit rolls. This is a common that got dog shit rolls. Is that what makes it common? Like what the fuck? The other thing didn't get any rolls. Look at how much faster this is. I went from like taking forever to cut down a single tree to cutting down a single tree before I even finish that sentence. And I can also let that shit look. See, this is the reason why I wanted to play Minecraft, bro. That shit looks nice. What the fuck? Look at that shit. Like, what the fuck? That shit looks cool. We got some wood. We need to collect some more stone, but we got some wood. We can collect more stone whenever we want. I don't know if there's wood and armor. Who cares? We're gonna check our map and we're gonna see like where the fuck looks cool. We can't fuck with this, we'll die. We can fuck with it and get really cool gear early on, but it's just gonna be like a bunch of I don't know, I've done that too many times, it's boring. I'd rather have a cool survival experience. So we're gonna go look around. And these have cows, so we're gonna go down here. Wait, there's literally a house right here. Oh wait, no, this is dangerous, isn't it? Alright, cool. That is like... Nice. We're gonna take these. Cause like, free books. I don't really know how the mod pack works, but... Every single time in Minecraft, you know, having books really early on is like, super overpowered. Because then, the second you get to level 30, you can just start having enchanted gear no matter how far in the game you are. So, yeah, you just take every fucking bookcase you can find all right so we're killing cows right but like that mini map on our top right is like our best friend we're like a call of duty sweat right now every enemy is on a red dot right now we could avoid taking any damage without even having to look around you just gotta pay attention to the top right at all times and then we got a lodestone question is can i break it oh my god i can break lodestones wait Oh my god, I can break and collect lodestones. Oh my god. Huge advantage. Find a lodestone. Break that shit. Now you can take it anywhere, place it, and you have a teleport to wherever you want. And you can build a base literally anywhere. And yeah, so you find two different villages and then you do that. So have fun. Or you could just find one and take it. And yeah. Alright, so it's, it's fucking nighttime. There's this big ass awesome looking castle right there. And then there's this cool little village that's right underneath it. And that's all I have to show. I also have... That skeleton that's trying to fucking kill me. And then I got everything in this inventory. I'm gonna live in this specific house because it has that staircase and it seems pretty safe. And it's gonna be lit because you got that and it's gonna be awesome, right? Yeah, we're really close to spawn. We didn't really do much in the first day. But the idea that I'm going with is that you could get fairly unlucky in your first day where you don't really find much. And this could be really all you found. I could have went to travel and I could have just not found anything. The entirety of the day which is usually what happens to me so even though i didn't really do a lot this is like realistic you know what i mean so this is like day one you know and now we're just gonna like chill in this and make this into something like i'll have that like documented you know oh what the fuck a molten edge which is dog shit but everything seems to be dog shit so who knows oh wait wait yeah i don't know it's dog shit do i have like negative reach distance on this shit <laughs> i do oh my god that is so troll, you're fucking kidding me, bro. I went to go mine that block and I couldn't reach it. I thought I was lagging. Like, I have PTSD, bro. That's so cool. Last time I played this, this wasn't really a thing. Like, it was on a really small scale. Everything has, like, common and shit to it. Like, there's all these rarities. It's actually so cool. I have a power level. What the fuck? Best book, hold up. Open that. I haven't even looked at that. I don't even know how many minutes. Now. Okay, I was about <laughs> about to say all right so we got a whole fucking uh book here to look through a bunch of stuff and it looks pretty cool i saw a scythe right there i saw a tentacle okay dude there's yeah so there's a lot of stuff to go do yeah there's a fucking ghost outside dude and he's green i've never seen that in the mod pack before we're gonna place a bed in here we're not in hardcore and we're really close to spawn so even if i died it wouldn't matter i'd be like right next door but i don't know it's just it's just a skip day and shit you fucking 
All right, bro, that's SIDS. All right, shit like this is gonna be a problem with living in a village, but we'll find ways around it probably. It's lower and break quicker and it has less. Like, the fact that you could get shit like this is crazy to me because this is like exactly what I wanted in Minecraft because it's so boring how I could just get a diamond something and then it's just the best, you feel me? I could get a diamond sword and it'd be terrible and then I have to make like 10 of them to get a good one. That is actually cool. Like that's even without the mod the mod weapons and shit in the game just a diamond sword alone is cool to upgrade because i could farm for a better one outside my door is my fucking that's awesome bro. back the fuck up buddy give me your sword wait was that a level one i swear to god i said level one we're gonna see if we could find any type of fucking artifact relic whatever they're called like any type of items like rings or anything like that uh any type of armor pieces or any type of weapons that would be valuable to us like that have good rarities good thingies on it shit like that that's what we're looking for right now even though we're early game we're looking for that also shit like this coal and iron and this isn't even cool cool for a second but i like went to go look at it anyways this lignite coal i think it's still used as coal it's just a weird looking coal regular coal exists as well but this is like a special type of coal so you have to get this for other shit in the game as well so it's like it's still coal but it's just different coal i'm a fucking peach tree bro i wonder if i can like cut it down and like i got oh it's apricots See, like, shit like that, bro. This is like, I don't get how someone could prefer, prefer vanilla, bro. This is so cool. Like, what the fuck? Apricots? Is this some vanilla? Like, just too much cool shit. I'm overloading. Oh, wait. I ran past it. Whoa, I just opened a skill tree on accident. <laughs> Holy fuck. Rogue's Path, Protector's Path, Pyrotech... Dude. Okay. <laughs> okay, what the fuck did I just find? Bonus damage with bows and crossbows. This is so fucking cool. Arche uh, there's fucking specialist thingies, bro. What the fuck is this? You got high priest. You get less damage, but more healing power for like a multiplayer server. Warrior's devotion. You get more attack damage, but less range damage. So if you're doing... And you lose all spell power. So you get a lot more melee damage. You just do a lot less all the other damage in general. You got more resistance, less damage damage less armor efficiency which i guess your armor breaks faster holy shit bro percentage increase dude holy shit but you also get like other like those two don't even matter bro that doesn't affect you as an archery so this is like straight up bonus holy fuck you got plus two rolls so these two just seem like path like are you allowed to get multiple of these because why would you want plus plus two rolls like that doesn't seem like a specialist Frost Arc Mage. That's crazy. Like, what the fuck? And then you got the fire one. We don't, I, don't, I don't care about magic. Damage, and then I'd be able to just really run through shit. You feel me? It'd be easy. I'd just get an insane amount of damage increase, and everything would be a lot easier. But I feel like I want to dabble and do some archery stuff because it seems like it could be fun. The only problem is you don't seem to get anything. Oh, there's some damages. So yeah, I'm gonna go Archer's Path and do that for fun and we're gonna see how it goes. Yo, I just thought about something. What if I can somehow nah there's gonna be enchantment for it. I just or enchantments for it. I just have to like actually get to that point but there's gonna be a point where i can have like a triple shot bow probably or like a chain bolt fucking bow you feel me like, there's gonna be all these things where i'm gonna be able to get most likely not to like an insanely unreal degree but you know like to a realistic enchantment degree and it's gonna be cool this is what you do right i live all the way i think it's right here i live right here which isn't that far away but i don't want to go back so what i want to do is i just want to keep going until i find another village which looks like it's right here and then i could use their waystone and then at any point i could teleport back to there and then i could keep going and going and going using more and more waystones that i find on the way and just keep using them as checkpoints to travel tens of thousands of blocks from spawn all right so there's literally a waystone right here we're just going to discover it 
We could even take it and just go back if we wanted to, hypothetically, because like we're not really even that far. What we're actually gonna do is we're gonna break it, we're gonna take it, and we're gonna keep going. And then whenever we want, we can place it and teleport back to where we were. It, it'll be like a checkpoint, like I said, like a portal. With how many structures there are and all these mods, it's gotten me to start like living inside of stuff like villages and stuff because that like how good the survivability is early game. And then you could eventually build a house somewhere. Get the fuck out of me, bro. It was a crow. Like, what the fuck was that? What type of noise was that? I actually scared the shit out of me. I hear it. See, I hear a zombie. That's probably why you hear a zombie. Stuff like this is so cool, bro. It seems to be like a little, like, place, bro. Where's the rest of the chest there, bro? Come on. That's all I care about. I don't care about who's here and who died, bro. I just want their stuff, dog. I need survivability. These crows need to piss off, my boy. Like, they're scary. Ravens. That's why they're scary, bro. They're ravens. See, I love, like, these random giant-ass fucking, like, really, I could go down there and explore underground because the map should go below Y, whatever. Actually, yeah, it does. So, really, I could go down there and explore, and then I could bring the waystone, and at any point, I could teleport out. And actually, we're about to do that. We're gonna go kill some cows over here, and make sure we have some food for survivability. And then we're gonna go down there and see what the fuck going on. I think that that was a spider cave that I just walked by, but I'm not sure. There's fucking damage numbers. Holy shit, there's damage numbers. I just noticed that there's damage numbers. Oh my god. That is so fucking cool. I can like actually max out DPS. Oh my fucking gosh, dude. Fucking W. Like, bro. What? I wonder where mod packs are gonna be in like four years. Like, that shit's crazy to me. You think that thing's. You think this thing is a uh, hostile? It's a friendly snake. That's so cute, bro. Like, what? Down here? Oh, we, we missed. Who cares, bro? Pop the bread. There's already a spider, a zombie. There was a ghost right there. A lot of coal. A lot of random ore. Fuck, ton of shit, dude. So, this is actually lit. We're actually gonna come down here, like, right now. We're gonna collect a bunch of coal. And then we're gonna collect a bunch of iron. Waste stone out. Make some armor. Waste stone back. Explore some dungeons underground. And profit and then survivability pick up this uh see we got iron ore make some sticks boom save that uh is there more iron ore what does iron ore look like can i zoom oh my god i can is this gonna be a minion a mimic <laughs> a minion hell nah bro a fucking minion is crazy all right so oh All right, so he cannot get this high. There's no fucking way. All right, so we don't have a bow, but guess what, bro? Improvise. We can make a bow right here, right now. So we're gonna go and do that. Real quick. Hold up. All right, we got a bow. We have a whopping two arrows. I didn't really think about that part. So we're just gonna shoot him once and see what the fuck happens. He doesn't even. All right, you're not allowed to shoot him. I didn't know that. So we're going to have to melee him. So we're going to just go over there, mine straight down, create a trap, and kill him. It's not even that hard. Okay, so this is the way that you have to kill these things, though, because I just remembered. So we have a crafting table that's already placed for us right here. We're going to go to the crafting table, and we're going to make this super overpowered thing real quick using my sword because I can't reach it with the pickaxe. We're going to make slabs. What this is going to do is it's going to make it where the chest can't get to us because he can fit through a one block spot. So if I was to mine a block and then place the slab there, he wouldn't be able to get to us. Okay, so he just scared the fuck out of me. I didn't realize you could go that deep. That was... <laughs> I thought he was going to jump up and kill me. I thought it was over. My life actually flashed or died to a mimic. Famous last words. Okay, so we have a spot to kill him. We're gonna place a slab using the right key this time. So he shouldn't be able to get to me no matter what the fuck happens, I'm pretty sure. I hope. And if anything does happen, I could easily just run out and block the way out. So so we're gonna try to kill him. Really just staying here completely still and attack him. I don't gotta do shit. He can't do anything. He's also in a one block spot, so I don't have to worry about him jumping around and shit. I could literally just sit here and attack him. One HP, and he's dead. So, what the fuck did I get out of that? I got 
an antidote vessel, which makes it to where if I get a negative effect, it has a way shorter time. So that's pretty cool. So like, it's crazy how I have to do all of that just to kill that one fucking mob, bro. But it's worth it because in the end, I get all this iron ore right here, which is a whopping three. I get this chest, which has a whopping nothing in it. And then, I mean, I got a smithing table. I, I, got, I don't have to make that now, I guess. Bro, the reach is actually so bad. Like, I keep trying to mine a block, and I can't mine, like... Like, think about two entire blocks, bro. Your reach distance is already, like, only two and a half or three or four or something like that. So, two blocks is, like, a lot of it. I'm already a Y level six. And then it's crazy, because it goes even, even deeper than that. It goes all the way... Like, look, this redstone, what the fuck? I could find diamonds right now. I just thought about all of this. I thought we were still at like Y30. And I could still go to like Y like fucking negative 70, bro. Like, oh fuck, bro. I want to find some structures. That doesn't exist here. What's up, my man? I see the lodestone. I swear to God, I blocked it. But he was lagging. But it's okay. We don't complain. My third person is glitched. But it's okay. He's glitched as well. We're gonna take that trade. I have no armor, by the way. That's the reason why creepers are, like, damn near killing me no matter what. Like, <laughs> I, the, the only thing I have is a pair of boots with nothing on them. And they're gold, so. We were, like, right down there. And the surface is right there. How is that? Like, we're already at Y0. That's crazy, bro. Alright, so we teleport here. My house is... Probably this one? No? Yeah. Fuck out my house. Fucking bitch. Alright. So, that's it. And then we just store everything in the chest. We're gonna sort the house out a good bit. And then we just teleport back, keep doing everything, and just keep doing that repeatedly over and over. We're gonna have to make bows a lot, but that's fun. Wait, why am I not using this? <laughs> what the fuck? Not too hot to handle. I haven't even equipped it, bro. I got a badass fucking... I mean, it's only a common, but still, I got this badass weapon. I think the common is, like, the rarity of, like, the things on it. You see at the bottom, it says, like, negative crit chance. Everything that's common has bad shit on it. And then, like, the uncommons have, like, decent shit on it. So I think that's what it is. Unique effect. Molten roar. Chance on hit to ignite your enemy or yourself. If low HP, gain regeneration instead that's fucking crazy gain strength and speed relative to missing hp that's crazy release a powerful roar knocking back and igniting nearby enemies that is crazy gain a resistance and onslaught with a duration relative to enemies hit that is crazy and then there's a rune socket what the fuck is this poe what am i playing can i wield this while well, it's also you could wield this and a shield at the same time holy shit but my right click is my ability so i gotta find out how to fix that but what the fuck was that, bro? A roar? So I can, like, wow. So, like, I could just do this, and that'll not... That's so cool, dude. All right, so, yeah. No, I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally fucking alt-tabbed, bro. And then, like, I clicked back, and it was paused. 